So I left into college. First day in a while. No, thanks. I've got registration later on. You okay? Yeah. I'm just happy to have you both home now. You, um, had a nightmare last night. Yeah. Keep having this dream where Sam's crying for his mum. She's out there, lost and scared and confused, and we can't get to her. I should have done more. And why did I believe Lachlan when he said that Rebecca had gone away for good? I let Seb down. And why? Because I was enjoying it being just us four for once, not having to worry about her. Hiya. What kind of dad does that make me? Do you want to hang out? Yeah, I've got college later, but we can go to the cafe now if you want. Yeah, cool. The police are up at home, farm. They've got dogs. Do you reckon they're looking for Rebecca's body? <laughs> well, if they are, they're idiots, because she's still alive. She has been missing for a while. Maybe we should prepare ourselves for the worst case scenario. None of this is your fault, you know. Yeah, and that fire that killed my stepmom Sarah wasn't either. But I was angry and bitter about it for years. I mean, what this, what's this gonna do for Seb if, he, if we can't find his mum? It's gonna screw him up just like it did me. No, it won't, because he's got us. Two parents who love him. I wanna bring him up to feel happy and safe and secure. Yeah, I know that. But don't you get why I can't just let this go? How can I face my son later if I just give up? Hey, what's the emergency? Is your car broken down or something? No, I can't get my brother to buy me a cup of tea now, can I not? You invited me, skin flint. Refills? Uh, cheese and ham toasty and a coffee to go, please, Rodney. And two coffees and a tea to stay, please, mate. You all right, Doug? Oh. Keep him busy, you know. Have you heard? I'm doing up the community garden as a tribute to Jerry. I've got a contact on the council. He's been very supportive. In fact, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that he'll come and open it. Yeah, it's a splendid idea. It was uh, looking a bit of a state before, and Jerry was a very community-spirited boy. Yeah. He'll be chuffed with that, though. Aye. I was, uh, sorry to hear that the police were out looking for Rebecca's body today. Maybe we should think about something in her memory, too. Lockham's refusing to say what he's done with her, but you give me five minutes in a room with him and I'll... I'll find out where he's buried her. I can't listen to this. Rodney, scratch that order, please. What if you do find a body? Do you know what? I hate to say it, but... I just don't know if I can leave Ross right now. Hey, thanks for having him. I'm gonna take him home now. Come on, buddy. Is that what I think it is? Just leave it. Let's go see what Victoria knows about it first, yeah? Come on. See? What did I tell you? A shrine right outside your house. Aaron, get him home and I'll sort it. Oh, come on, Robert. Let your sister handle this. We don't know who started it. We just wanted to show our respects. Uh, we heard the police start searching for a body this morning. I can't believe it's true. She was so full of life. I know the girls at the factory are very upset. Oh, we talked about holding a candlelight vigil later. And say a few prayers if you would like to come. Thank you. It's, it's very kind, but we're not ready yet. Yeah, well, at least wait until someone's dead before organising a flipping memorial. And you can stuff your candlelit vigil at all. Come on, that's enough, you meant well. Robert, calm down. Thoughts and prayers. You should all be out looking for her, trying to bring Seb's mum home to him. Robert, look, I tried to persuade Lachlan, I just couldn't, I'm sorry. This is out of order, this. It's Seb's mum, and she's not dead, right? She can't be. I get that he's upset, but it's him that's out of order. Eh? Talking to Belle like that when all she's done is try to help him. And how's that? We're family. We don't treat each other like that. 